and we know um, there are a lot of schools out there that feed into other schools, like middle schools and then feed into high schools. What we're thinking was like, start them when they're young. So like in middle schools, maybe setting up a program for camping or an adventure program for wilderness. And then maybe having those schools feed into a high school that already has something existing. So anything that can help sponsor, or help come up with parents or people that know how to do these things, or any ideas that you can have to work with community centers or things like that. Uh, Joaquin, do you have anything else to say on that one? Uh, yeah, um, getting them out there in the first place, because uh, once again, the whole parents always fear for their children, like, oh no, keep them away from the bears. Uh, one thing that uh, people can really do is put a name behind a club or something. Like, for example, if there's like a biology club or, or an outdoors club at a school, put a name behind it. That way it gives parents that extra sense of security. And when you take the kids out there, make sure they have like a ranger or somebody, someone who knows what they're doing. And if they're out in the wilderness, if there's, a, if there's someone who's experienced guiding the group, chances are they'll probably like it. Because it's meant to be a really fun experience, you know? Especially if you're out there with your friends and, and your teachers, and it's all just a school outing. I think that encourages students a lot more to go out there and hang out with their buddies. And, and if they're with somebody who knows what they're doing, it'll just be a lot of fun. Uh, something else I've noticed is um, a lot of times this fear comes from either stuff that their parents have said, like their parents fear for them getting hurt, or their school fears for them getting hurt for insurance and stuff like that, so they can't go out with those people. Uh, but a lot of things, that sense of security, say having like maybe Earth Team, like what we work for, or like Sierra Club sponsoring it, or like sponsoring this club, or getting this group out there, that sense of security comes from the name, plus also that means they have the resources to get a ranger out there. And for the students who have had a negative experience, if we can give them a secure, safe experience with a ranger, that negative experience could possibly be erased and replaced with a positive one. Yeah, actually, yeah, the, um, there, there is a lot of fear out there. I've, I've been involved with um, scouts, and we were on a really safe hike, you know, it was a big, wide trail that was covered in gravel in the middle of the forest, and it was really safe, you know, there were fences on both sides, and we stopped in the middle of a huge grassy field, and one girl goes, is that a mountain lion over there? And I, and I look, and it's a tree, and she starts, you know, and she turns around, and she goes, I think I see a bear, I turn around, and it's a rock, and eventually we had to calm her down. Um, I've also I've been in instances where I've, where people have tripped and twisted their ankle, and they're so overcome with panic that we have to carry them out. Um, that was just you know with scouts. That was with Girl Scouts of America. Um, but a lot of the people in the, in the troop had never really been outside before. But you know I was with the Rikers program and. It's a bunch of you know kids going out in nature all day long, and one of the you know one of the ideas was one of our, our the leaders actually tripped and fell and pretended to break his leg, and we're all very calm about it. And so it was. So I guess one way to get the kids out there is just dispel the fear. Tell them